Well, Hellfire has rocked the riff, and I am back with another Metalhead Envy, and back with some more Orbit Culture. Uh, I still need to do Spite of the Flyerflies. I think that's the title. I hope I'm not murdering that title. But uh, I swear my phone hears me, because where I've been talking about Orbit Culture, they've started popping up on certain other feeds on my TikTok and everything. And so uh, I did catch just a glimpse of this and I realized it was Orbit Culture and I scrolled through because I was like, oh shit, they got a new track out. I want to check it out. And so here we are and let's dive on in. Okay. <laughs> Start with the triplet. Work. I say triplet. I don't know what the actual count of that riff is, but uh, people, my drummer, and my guitarist make fun of me because I'm always, I'm like, yeah, let's do a triplet or everything's a four count to me. So don't take me saying that as that is what that actually is. I just like that riff. It's starting off chunky as it is. Hell yeah. Keep it going, driver. Fucking love those kicks. I, I gotta scroll back because I want to hear the starting of them. <laughs> I don't know why, but just going super intense right there it just fits. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they are riding the fuck out of this riff. I was thinking a change up was going to happen right there, but I do like how they're riding that riff, but they are doing the mixes of sounds and stuff because it sounded like. I mean, you got the main riff through both, and then it sounded like something uh, squeezed in the bottom left of this, on, on this headphone. I'm sitting there, it's in this headphone. But uh, we got four minutes, 37 seconds, so we'll see how many change-ups they have. I like that little right there, right there though. <laughs> okay there we go all right so we're gonna get a little bit of a change up right here but i do have to say that i like that riff especially with the i don't know it sounds like the kicks just get more intense it sounds like more kicks are going on but then there's like a dissonant chord that's being just fucking hammered right there but i was good about to say we needed to change and i think with my own band and the way we write and play it's like we never could do that for two minutes 
and even say like even if i wanted to even if i was pressuring the other guys in the group i was like hey man let's just hold this out for fucking let's hold this out for like two minutes they would not have it they we we all three of us together right now we just that's the cool thing about having all three of us right together is because one of us might want to do this and then another counters with this and it ends up working awesome or could work worse i mean when it comes to music i don't think there is no good or bad ideas there's just what can you where can you find the middle ground that everybody is happy and then also make a track that is catchy and people want to actually listen to and stuff but i was just for me personally and i'm not knocking over culture because i love their sound and tone and everything but for me personally that was a long holdout on that. Even though it's intense and it's like, fucking hey, we're going to smash your fucking skull. In. I'm ready for this change up. Well, that right there, that's my favorite part of that. My favorite element with all those added together. The dissonant and the extra kicks. Hell yeah. give over culture credit in the sense that they know how to make sound something sound just massive that right there sounded like all the vikings of valhalla were coming up and getting ready to like fucking mask or some shit which i haven't mentioned much about the music video so far it is interesting i do think i am more interested in the music in this this go around like the visuals are cool so far but I am so focused on uh, the guitar tones and everything. That's another thing Orbit Culture is fucking awesome for, is their guitar tone is killer. And I'm pretty sure, I haven't been paying too much attention, but I'm pretty sure these are sixes. It's hard to kind of see a little bit. But that was cool. It was about right. I'm going to let it play a little bit more anyway. Oh, yeah, I like that. Really gives me strong corn vibes. But just that dissonant chord thing. Creature is badass. Rivet. 
Well, radiate visuals. Okay. I like it. I was wanting to catch the guitar so I could count the headstock. And the, what's funny, I'm thinking about this right now. Yep, six. Because my band, we just did a gig this past weekend. And uh, when we got done playing, we had a couple of people come up to us and talk to us. And was like, yo. It was like, I asked us, like, it was like, y'all are using sevens, right? Me and my other guitarist. And we looked at him. We was like, no, nah, did you not? I guess you didn't count the, or you didn't look at the guitar and count the headstock. He's like, dude, it's fucking low and as heavy as y'all sound. What are y'all tuned to? And uh, he's like, well, we're on sixes, but we're a whole step down. And then uh, the last song of the set list is also another drop on the top string down to A. Hence the reason why I got the multi-scale so it could handle that kind of tuning. But these guys also, to me, are heavy as fuck and they're doing it with sixes. And I'm glad to see that. Like, don't get me wrong, sevens and eights and nines are cool, but there's just something about a six string for me that I'll always love, and I'm just not, I don't know if I'll ever migrate to eight or nines. It's just a lot. It, to me, that kills the bass player, and I like having a bass player. I like the bass. But Orbit Culture is really, really killer. They have one of the best sounds of any metal band that I listen to. I love the guitar tones. They're mixed, they're master. Their visuals are pretty cool. I will say that I think Carvings is still my favorite song I've heard from them so far, but I haven't checked out uh, other suggestions that have been left in the comments and I plan on doing that. I just saw that this was a newer track and so I wanted to see what the newest Orbit Culture sounded like. And they definitely have their fucking sound down. Vocals are cool. The dissonant chords. The... I would say... My favorite spots in this track... Is when this... That... Got that dissonant run. Double kicks. That shit is awesome. That gets me hyped. And then I really liked uh, the change up right here at the two minute mark. I like that riff right there. Nice and bouncy. And I just think about it in the sense, my own band, we would have started that riff at least at the 30 second marker. <laughs> I pick on. I was with my drummer yesterday. I was picking on him, man. I was like, we really do. Like, we have such a. We try to do different sounds with every track, but at the same time, we're guilty of a structure. Because I pick on him. I'm like, man, we won't never hold anything out beyond four measures. Now we come back and repeat certain things, and we kind of model it after periphery where they'll they'll do a verse and then they'll do their chorus. And then when they come back to that second verse, it's the same riff, but slightly just tweaked or added a sound here or there just to have a hair of a change. And a, a lot of that comes from my other guitarist and my drummer there. They were the super prog guys before I got into prog. And so I come from the ACDC background and I think, yeah, I am the oldest member in the band. So I'm like, old school classic rock and these guys are all modern prog kill switch and all all kinds of crazy shit but it is it ends up being a cool combination for us and i think i plugged my band enough in this video so four horns for orbit culture all the way i think the only thing i do have an issue which i've already said is just certain things get held out for so long i mean it literally took t two minutes to get to the next section of the song for me personally, but everybody's different. And that's what's awesome. Everybody likes different things and we get to come here on YouTube and comment and uh, talk to each other and give suggestions and see what everybody likes. I do like Orbit Culture a lot. I think 
I love their sounds and guitars and everything. They're visual. They look like a band that I would fucking party with or tour with or whatever. The only negative things I think I can say is their song structures kind of bore me. Daggone, I did not realize I've been running my mouth for 15 fucking minutes. <laughs> so... I hope if Orbit Culture ever sees this, they don't take it as me hating on them because I actually really dig y'all guys a lot. And I think just the musician in me, I'm like, it's the same as a football player in the stadium watching a football game. He wants to play football. I want to play the music too. And so that's the only reason why I think of certain things that I say here in my reactions. And uh, yeah. So hopefully... Everybody that checks this out likes it. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. More stuff is coming. Leave me some suggestions, if I can say that word. And uh, yeah, I want to check out more stuff. I love checking out music. Music is my passion. I love it. And uh, stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.